In this video, we're going to be setting up our theme and our application, and we're going to be using BoostWatch to help us do that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll install BoostWatch into our application, and then we'll set up our style sheet and our angular.json file. And then towards the end, we'll do some housekeeping. We'll change around some uh, styles for our progress bar, things like that. Uh, down in the description, you'll find these two links. The one link is to BoostWatch.com. Uh, and the second one is a, a link that shows you how to, you can install it and set it up in your application. Let's check out the first link, uh, BoostWatch.com. We go to BoostWatch, and here they have a whole bunch of different themes, uh, Bootstrap themes you could use in your application. Now you could download it this way, uh, but what I'm going to do is just use npm to install it. And um, I'm kind of torn between two themes right now, like the Cosmo. I was, I was going to go that direction. And then I seen this one, Cyborg, and I really like the dark theme. I'm not quite sure if that's going to be a good theme for a timesheet app, but uh, I'll go with this. And if it doesn't work out, I'll just change it to the Cosmo. But uh, this is the theme we'll be setting up in this application. Uh, so let's go to the second link, and this shows you how you can install it. You just click on this. And then also down here, it tells you how you can set it up within your application, how you can import it. So we're going to just copy and paste this into our style sheet then. So let's get this installing a while. So we we'll go here within your spa, uh, paste and install. While this is installing, I'll just close this down. And then let's open up uh, the files that we're going to change around. So the first one's going to be our angler.json. And then the other one is going to be the styles sheet. Right up here, I'll paste that snippet. So we'll go back to here and just copy this. And then jump back here and paste that right here. So paste and then give it some space. And then the theme that you're picking, you want to put the name of it right here. In my case, it's Cyborg and Cyborg. Okay, so this should work if we save this. And then there's one more thing we need to do though. In the angler.json, we can get rid of this now. And the reason we we can get rid of this is because we're pulling it in here now instead, right here. So that's why you can get rid of that. And whenever you make a change within your angular.json, make sure you restart your application or those changes won't reflect. So let's go ahead and restart that. Okay, so our theme is kicking in and that's all you really need to do to actually set up a theme in your application. It's real simple. So now what we're gonna do is just basically clean up everything. So like I'm going for the dark theme. So we're, we'll swap this over to the dark color, the header. Here also, this is not the theme color, this red here for the input field. So we'll go and change that color around. Also, um, if we enter in something here, we got this progress bar that goes across the top. Now, as you probably wouldn't even notice it if you don't change the color, but I'm going to change the color just to be consistent, you know. So I'm going to change that red and the green and the blue color in that progress bar to our theme color. And I was actually looking in a way we could change these colors for this these pop-outs here. But um, I was looking at the documentation and I did not see a way for changing that color. So I'm going to leave that just the way it is and just change the progress bar and the input field. So let's go knock out our header first thing. So open up the header component. So I'll just do it this way, control P and then header. There it is. Open up the HTML and this up here will change to the dark. So dark and dark. So that should give us the dark header. Let's just check that just to make sure. Okay, very good. That looks really, really nice. And um, let's knock out these input fields now. So we go back to our style sheet. We set that in our style sheet. I'll close this down. So inside here. So let's go out and find those theme colors that we're using in this theme. So actually, if we go back here, we have to do some scrolling. It's inside of our node modules. And look for what's called Boot Swatch. That's what we downloaded. Okay, here it is, uh, Boot Swatch. Open this one up. And then open up the disk folder. And then you want to pick the theme that you, you set up in your application. In my case, I set up the cyborg. So open this one up. And then open up the variable uh, one. So open this up. And then here are a whole list of, of theme variables. So we could use these theme variables now uh, throughout our style sheets. Let's go and set up this one right here. The green one for our input field. So copy this. 
And let's jump back to our style sheet and let's change this one over. And then this one is going to be um, danger, actually. Actually, let's set, change that to success, actually. If we go back here and they have one down here, it's called success. We'll go with that one, actually. Copy this and jump back in here. You could go with a green, though. And then this one's going to be danger. We'll use that one. So that's really nice. We can use these variables now uh, throughout our, our entire application. So that's that's really good. Okay, so save this. And this won't be much of a change. But, um, okay, refreshed. And if we valid. So it did change a little bit. But now it's consistent with our theme color. Uh, let's take care of this progress bar. And that would be pretty much it. If we go back here and open up our service, our progress bar service. Open this up. And here is where we're setting those colors. And I'll just jump back and forth copying and pasting. And that's pretty much it. Save this. Probably not going to see much of a difference, but uh, we'll just try it out anyways. And make sure we didn't break anything. And log in. Okay, we just changed over our theme and it's looking really good. So now the next video, uh, let's start filling in uh, some of our pages. So like right here at our home page, we have nothing right now. We'll add something in there. Also, we'll set up like our 404 page, things like that. We'll do that in a couple of videos actually. So we'll start on that next.